Billionaire businessman Donald Trump is never short on words. He was in town Monday speaking at the Economic Club in D.C. He also talked exclusively, excuse me, he also spoke exclusively to Fox 5's Emily Miller about a variety of topics and answered questions from some of our viewers. Take a listen. But if he were a great president, I'd be very Marcus Pizzito asked on Facebook, where does Donald Trump see the country going if things don't change? I don't know you can get very much worse. Uh, we have somebody where we're not respected as a country. Uh, we have 18 trillion in debt, soon to be 22 trillion in debt, which is a very sacred number because that's a number that's a real tipping point. Trump says the protests around the country over race and police tactics since Ferguson are a result of these hard times. The African American population and especially the male provider has never done worse than they are now. I mean, they're doing horribly uh, in terms of the economics. When you look at the tremendous real unemployment in this country, which is probably 20 percent, the African American population is doing much worse. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that causes great tension. Julian Winnicecki said, do you feel that you're privileged in having a concealed carry permit in New York? Is it a privilege for you because you're wealthy and powerful? Well, I do. I have the right to carry a gun, and I don't consider it a privilege. I consider it probably a necessity. And as you know, I'm a big Second Amendment, as you are, mm -hmm. Emily. I'm a Second Amendment person. I believe strongly in it. So the bad guys have it. The good guys have to have it. And I'm a very uh, staunch proponent of being able to protect yourself. Mike Scott asked, do you plan on doing a normal person apprentice, or will you keep doing celebrity editions only? Well, we've had the great success with both. Mm -hmm. I really like doing the celebrity, because I meet these people who I've read about, I've seen, and I find it interesting, and it does so well. You're fired. I think the reason a lot of people ask me if you're going to do a regular apprentice, because a lot of people also tweet or Facebooked, well, can you give me a job? Will you they want to be me? on. Right. That's true. And a lot of people want to be on. Or and they want to be hired. By I don't know if you really. remember, when we did the lines and the auditions for The Apprentice, they'd be sometimes 10 and 15 blocks long. They'd right. go down many, many blocks. And it was sad in a way, because everybody nice. wanted something. They all wanted a job. They yeah. wanted to win the money that you got, you know, mm -hmm. the $250,000 plus a job, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, so it was really a little bit sad in one way, but it was beautiful in another way. Well, Trump's show started 10 years ago, but I still got so and many tweets and comments on Facebook great... asking Donald Trump for a loan, a job, a couple million dollars. While he's controversial, he represents hope for everyone who's struggling to one day have great success, too. Emily Miller, Fox 5 Local News.